Lads, the Chow Chin Chows, Judge PH Games here, and welcome to week three of the IBL. Today we are facing the Portland Tier Tugas and their coach, Venom the Star. And let's take a look at the team that we used for this match rather quickly before we I show you guys the battle replay. So here we go. So we started off with Nightmare. This week, Nightmare had. Uh, Ice Beam, Iron Head, Roost, and Fusion Bolt with the Electrium Z for Gigavolt Havoc. Then we had Little Bro with the Fog, Roost, Earthquake, and Toxic. Then we had uh, Mesperit, Pixel with Stealth Rocks, Thunder Wave, Psy Shock, and Knock Off. Then we had Robin with a uh, brave bird natural gift with the apricot berry that means it's ground type move so we we're going for with natural gift sword stance and roost and we had sophie with taunt parting shot foul play and a power gem with the tenangula berry which is probably some i can't remember exactly what the tenangula berry does What's this berry do? If it... Okay, so... Bug! Okay. Not sure why that would have been used. Or when. But then we also had Maui, the top of Bulu, with Woodhammer, Horn Leech, Stone Edge, and Zen Headbutt with the Choice Scarf. So, I'm going to move my mic out of the way so I can actually see this battle. Uh, sorry if you hear that. I will try and cut that out on the um, in post-editing. And let's uh, bring up the verse recorder so I, I can show you this battle. There it is. Okay, so Venom starts off the match by bringing out his Electifier. And I start out the match by bringing out Pixel, my uh, mess spirit. Now, I was thinking in this situation, I could bulk anything he tries to do to me. He tries to ice punch me. This does absolutely nothing, so I can get off my rocks rather easily and not too much worry about Electifier. Uh, so I had my rocks in place and I was very, very happy at this point. I wanted to knock off to get rid of uh, whatever item he was holding, but sadly he switches out into uh, his promo pass and the promo pass gets knocked off and I get rid of his sit I get rid of his berry, but like it's not really what I wanted to get rid of. The sugar berry is not really the thing I want to get rid of. It does stop ground type moves, but it's not really what I want to get rid of. I really want to get rid of the item from the I really want to get rid of uh, Electivire's Life Orb. So here I go into uh, Little Bro. Little Bro sadly gets toxic and there's not really much Little Bro could do about that. I was sort of hoping Little Bro could Earthquake this thing and do some serious damage. Now we stop Sturdy from happening uh, with the knockoff, but he switches out into his Dragonite. And Dragonite is kind of scary. And this is where I got really scared because, well, basically, he he sets up a dragon dance to me and that's basically all I can do. <laughs> that's really not what I could have done in this situation. I go into Maui, thinking to myself, I could, I could do some damage if I had like a fairy move or do some serious, but the fact is he got a dragon dance off. So he got speed, he's got everything. He has iron hair as well, which is really annoying. I thought to myself that I could take this, but no. Super effective Iron Head, one shot to me, dead. Maui prob apparently was a big win condition, and I kind of fudged up that one. So I go back into Pixel here, thinking Thunder Wave, I think. Slow it, slow it down. I might not be, I might be able to take the, I might not be able to take the hit, but I can slow it down. Oh, and so I can do something later on. Sadly, uh, it goes into this thing, and this thing gets Thunder Waved. It's Flawgeous. Uh, not the right Pokemon to get Thunder Waved, but I'm glad it got Thunder Waved in the end, because it does pay off later on. 
It's not the Pokemon I want to get paralyzed, but it does pay off, so I'm really happy about that. As you can see, Lefty is, does nothing to him. Now, that Psy Shock and uh, does do a lot of damage, but doesn't really do what I wanted to do. He sets up a Calm Mind here because I'm guessing he was trying to set up. But I don't really know how that would have helped in this situation unless he was carrying Shadow Ball. Well, because he really wouldn't have been able to sweep now he's paralyzed. So, in what do I do here? I can't remember. So, I side shock again. He does a lot of damage this time and brings him down to the very low yellows. He gets the paralysis. He gets paralysis too. So, I'm guessing he was probably going for another Calm Mind, but he got fully paralysized that time. Which is really useful, actually. Now, if he'd stayed in this turn, I don't think he would have lived so, with the side Shock, so that's pretty cool. The Grassy Terrain leaves the field this turn, which is okay, I guess. Probably what I wanted in the end. Now he goes into this thing, and I was going to side shock again because I thought, like, maybe he'll stay in. Maybe he did. Maybe he wouldn't. I don't know, but, like, I do do some damage to Probo Pass, but sadly not enough to actually even count as actual damage. So I switch out into Little Bro. I'm thinking Little Bro can do an Earthquake again, but this time he gets rocks off. And uh, rocks were very scary for me, so I decide not to let him have rocks in this situation. So I defog because he switches out, uh, noticing what I'm gonna do. Goes into Dragonite again, and I defog. I get rid of the rocks on both sides of the field and lower his evasiveness, which is probably which is probably a good thing. But sadly, that means the little bro is going to get power. Uh, sadly, going to get killed here by Ice Punch. Oh wait, no, it's, that's not it. That, that happens later. That happens later, Joe. Okay, so Outrage comes in, and Outrage does a load of damage. And I wasn't exactly sure who could do who could uh, take a life orb Outrage. In this situation, I really don't know who could have taken that. So Pixel dies here because no one could have taken in a Life Orb Outrage. But it does do enough damage so it's down into an area where Sophie can come in and foul play. Which I like here. But Sophie's able to outspeed the Dragonair. Uh, Dragonite foul play. Kills the Dragonite. Dead. Dragonite is, was kind of a uh, worry, but like, I was okay in this situation. Now, Magic Sack, and uh, now Hiriyama comes in. I guess I could have potting shotted into, uh, I guess now looking at it, I could have potted shotted into, into, um, Hir into Talon Flame, I guess, maybe, and Talon then like a Brave Bird. Or I could have, uh, in this situation, I do Brave Bird uh, onto the Electivire slot, but sadly, Electivire is not going to get hurt by this. So it does do some damage, but it doesn't do a lot of damage, sadly. So I have to get out of here again because I'm choiced, so I can't stay in. I go into Little Bro, thinking Little Bro can do something with Earthquake. Ice Punch is a thing, and sadly, there goes Little Bro. After two ice punches and poison damage. I thought maybe Little Bro might outspeed on the second turn, but no. He's speed invested. Probably Choice Scarfed, actually. And then we go into Nightmare. Nightmare, I was thinking maybe Nightmare could uh, Ice Beam. Maybe Nightmare could Iron Head in this situation, but he switches out. Of this into uh, Probo Pass. I Ice Beam the Probo Pass. It does do some damage. Not great, but it does do something. And I'm maybe it wasn't the best thing to stay in on. 
So they're going to Sophie here thinking, you know, taunt, foul play. That's the kind of uh, thing I was going to hope for. I missed... He misses the Toxic this turn, which is really good because I really didn't want to get hit by the Toxic. He goes into this. I foul play. I guess maybe I could have taunted here. Uh, now I'm realizing that I could have taunted and uh, locked him out of Calm Mind. And then maybe a foul played. Here I parting shot because I think like if he's going to try and set up, I'm not going to let him. And by po and so I parting shot into Talon Flame. And then I want to go for the Brave Bird and kill this thing. Luckily, he gets paralyzed. I'm guessing he might have been trying to go for a Calm Mind there. So, yeah, I luckily he got the, power uh, he got the paralysis off there, and that's really good. Into uh, this. Into a. Uh, into Electifier. I natural gift this thing because that's ground type move. It's exactly what I wanted him to do, actually. Exactly what I wanted him to do. Switch out into Electifier. Let me kill the Electifier, which he did. If I had a multi-time hitting move, I could have done some damage to uh, to this thing as well. But like, sadly, nope. I gotta get out of here and Probe Pass is not what I want to deal with. Volt Switch allows him to switch out. Back into um, Florgius, which is kind of annoying. Again, I guess I could have taunted here. By parting shot instead, being an idiot. And uh, do lower his attack, which is rather nicely. Back into Robin, I go. And Robin. Uh, Gets the fully paralysis, gets the fully paralysis off again, which is really nice. Sorry if my phone went off there. It, it is on. It's supposed to be on Do Not Disturb, but it's not. Anyway, Brave Bird into the floor just this time, and it does kill the floor just. So that's really good. We do get hit by the recall, so it's kind of annoying. He goes into this thing. I don't really have too much to deal with this thing again, so I have to switch out. This probably would have been where Flare Blitz would have been nice, actually. I go into uh, Sophie again. This time he does actually get off the Toxic, which is really annoying. And sadly, Sophie is now badly poisoned. So I guess I could have taunted. I guess I could have taunted. Foul play into the uh, slot, into the Probe Pass slot here. Doesn't do a lot of damage, and of course he Volt switches out, being uh, being annoying because he won't let me kill. He won't let me kill it. Into Hiri Armor, he goes into here. I can't really do too much to Hiri Armor. I could have let Sophie die at this point, and uh, maybe I would have been able to do something. Maybe I guess I could have foul played or uh, parting shotted. I go into Robin thinking maybe I would be able to, uh, maybe he would have been okay, maybe we got paralyzed, or maybe just maybe he wouldn't go for knockoff, that's basically what I was thinking. I didn't realize knockoff would do so much damage to me. This turn, I like that. Turn 30, I was thinking to myself, you know, I got to find a way to kill this thing. So I tried this. Gigavolt Havoc onto the Hiri Armor. Probably not the right move at the right time. I could have just let um, Persian go down and maybe I could have gone to town with him about a turn. Maybe I could have gone to town with this about a turn or two later on and it would have been fine. Because he lives this. And I don't understand how. I really don't. Close combat, one shot nightmare, I lose. Because all I have left now is uh, Persian, which I probably should have sacked about three turns ago. As we can see, I do go into Persian here. But Persian's lost too much HP to even be a threat, really. He bullet punches me because of priority reasons, and he knew that I was going to foul play, probably. So, 
He just let me have uh, Hiriyama at this point. Because I probably would have outsped if it wasn't for the bullet punch. The poison takes me into the red. And at this point, basically, I had nothing left. I go for the foul play here because it's the only damaging move I have. And I was hoping it would do more damage than that. Flash cannon sadly kills me off and I lose two out. But uh, it was a really fun match. I really enjoyed the match. So I... Thank Venom for letting me have one of the funnest matches of this season. And hopefully I will win a match eventually. But, like, if the matches were all like that, if every match was like that, I wouldn't care who won and who lost. Like, because that was a really fun match. Uh, there were definite plays I could have played better. But that was a really fun match and I really enjoyed myself. So, in the end, really, I felt I did well. I felt I did well, and I, I felt I needed a match like this to show how good I can be uh, in situations like this. It is a 3-0 loss. It is a 2-0 loss, sorry. But, you know, it's it was, a good, it was a good fun match, and I really enjoyed myself during the match. So I'm really happy with it. Anyway, if you did enjoy today's episode of the IBL, you can leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're on YouTube. If you're on Vidme, you can leave an upvote, you can follow the channel, and of course... You can leave a comment over there as well. Next week, we take on the Nine Megan Nuzleaves and Automatic. He is the leader of the um, Gold Conference. Uh, well, actually, he's the leader of the Gold Division in the Johto Conference. He, I think he's actually even the leader of the Johto Conference, actually, too. So this could be a really interesting match. His team is very bulky. Uh, so that means, I guess, maybe Nature's Madness is a thing I'm going to have to uh, maybe play with Topabulu. But I don't know. We'll have to see. I will, I will talk about that uh, with the Rude and see what happens. Uh, bulk is something to be really scared of. And uh, Auto's team is full of it. Anyway, till next time, I'm just PH Games. And I am out. Let me know how you're enjoying these uh, post-commentated battles, because I'm, I feel like these are better than actual physically commentated battles, in a way. Anyway, until next time, I'm Judge PH Games, and I am out. See you again!